Hello, YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, it's uh, early December. I think we're towards the end of the first week of December, and it's cold here in Indiana. It was almost zero uh, this morning. hasn't gotten much warmer all day, and we're going to be cold all the way through uh, the next couple of days. But then it's going to get up to the uh, 40s in the middle of January. And, you know, it's weird, but uh, I'll take it. So uh, I'm going to do an occasional segment uh, starting today, tonight, um, called What's in the Box? And it'll be uh, viewer or subscriber contributions slash donations. And I got a box in the mail today. How about that? It's kind of heavy. It's all the way from uh, Massachusetts. Or is that Maine? Westford, M.A. Uh, from J. Bammy, KC1, CCR. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's open it up and see what's in the box. Okay, scalpel out for some surgery. Let's see what KC1 CCR Kilo Charlie 1 Credence Clearwater Revival sent me. Bubble pack! I like bubble pack. That's useful stuff. There's a QSL card. Lovely green QSL card, Westford, Massachusetts. Thank you, Ben. We have something in a package, static bag. Ooh. Looky here. I know what that is. That's a soft rock transceiver. We'll have to play around with that and see what it does. Cool. And then, oh, a Vectronics kit. Well, I haven't built a kit on the channel yet. Uh, let's see, he did send me a note. Okay, it's a 40 meter receiver kit. Wow. Bag of parts, PC board, Vectronics. Maybe we'll do a kit build here coming up. Oh, I see a microphone. A Yezu microphone. Uh-oh. And more bubble wrap. What do we have in here? Holy cow. We have a uh, Yezu mystery transceiver. It literally has no label. <laughs> it has no label on it anywhere. It, it doesn't say anything on the back, on the top. It's got a broken fin. Uh, no, I see functions on the buttons, but I don't see any identifying um, brand name, model number, or anything. That is bizarre. When have you ever seen a radio that doesn't have a doesn't have an identifier on it? Really, look at that. Clear on top, clear on the bottom, speaker. Nothing on the back, no labels, no serial number, nothing. And especially on the front panel, there's no there's no brand name anywhere. So it's a mystery radio. The only clue being we've got a Yezu mic. Uh, in his note, which he emailed me. He says that it's a uh, VHF transceiver. Uh, was claimed that it worked fine. It does it receives but does not transmit. So we're going to have to hook this guy up and see what it is and what's going on with it. Well, what should I do first? Is that everything? That's everything. Well, thanks again, KC1CCR. I think I'm going to hook up this uh, mystery radio here and we'll see what this is and uh, what might be wrong with it. Well, I don't know what's supposed to be wrong with this radio, but... Uh, all right, KB9HAV, KB9RLW, how copy? 
KB9 RLW, KD9 HAV. Uh, five and nine, uh, full quieting into the repeater. And uh, you were saying the audio's good, right? Uh, I, I'm recording this for the YouTube channel, by the way. Uh, if you want to just let me know if that's okay. Sure, that's, fi that's fine. The audio is crystal clear and good. Like I said, full quieting is the repeater. All right, Norm. Well, thanks. Uh, it's a mystery radio. I'm going to have to do a little research to figure out what it is. And uh, I guess I'll just uh, do a do a tear down and take a look inside for the video and uh, we'll see if we can identify it make that the subject uh, KB9HAV, KB9RLW thanks for the test and uh, we'll talk to you later well the uh, case is plastic not, uh, not what I'm used to seeing on ham radios usually they're metal ZIF connectors so it looks like uh, four screws and this board will come out. I don't know if I want to do the... Oh, what the heck, let's tear it down. Let's, let's take it all apart. So I'm going to pull these four screws and those ZIF connectors and get that board out and then we'll, uh, we'll look underneath now. The bottom panel was plastic as well, but there's at least a metal sub-chassis there with the speaker on it. One board at a time. Well, no clues yet. No clues yet as to what it is. I haven't looked it up on the web yet. I just thought I'd open her up. Nice little uh, organized front panel board. I like the way it's put together. You could almost run that headless if you had a long enough extensions for those three, one of those two. All right, let's see what's under the metal panel here. These screws are all loose. Somebody had this opened. And I see little scratch marks around the screws. That one looks like it's a little bit rounded, like it's been opened more than once. I wonder if we have to take that center screw out. Yeah, yeah these screws are all very loose. There we go. Good speaker just unhooks. Okay. Okay, so here's the underside of the radio. RF board, obviously. Um, very clean looking, isn't it? <laughs> this must be the RF output right here in one module. Instead of individual transistors, they've got one big module. And sorry, I've got it turned sideways there, but uh, uh, let's see. We've got two uh, power transistors here that are heat synced. Those could be drivers. And we've got a nice little heat sink on this transistor. Look at that. Still no clue as to uh, what the radio is, uh, aside from we, we know it's a Yezu. I know. Some of you are out there screaming at me right now. It's a model. Wah, da, da. Okay, I'll figure it out. So very clean construction, very easy to get apart. It'll be very easy to service this guy. Um, I'm going to go through and tighten all of the screws. I'll bet you want to see these. Uh, you can see on these screws, see where there's the copper around it there and here, and here and here. These are these are ground points to chassis, and uh, there's always a possibility that uh, one or more of those is loose, and maybe we have a floating ground or an intermittent ground. So I'll tighten all those down, and I'll get my magnifying lens out, and I'll take a look at uh, solder connections on the legs of these transistors, and this is probably a voltage regulator back here. Um, I don't see anything obvious that uh, that looks like it's intermittent, so I'm not sure why this radio uh, was claimed to be not working. I was just putting this back together. All of the uh, ground point screws on the back board were loose. I mean, loose enough that if I put my fingertip on them, I could turn them. So I'm thinking that it was a ground issue that maybe was uh, what was wrong with this radio. It obviously got dropped real hard. It's got this broken fin back here, so it, it got dropped or banged up. 
I thought as long as I had it apart, we'd check this battery. This is going to be the 3.3 uh, the volt battery that backs up the processor in memory. It's mounted right over a, a chip, which is probably the processor. And it's going to be a 3.3 volt battery. Yeah, 3.24. I got my hand in the way. Let's do this. Can you see it? No. There we go. 3.24 volts. So it's not a dead battery. Sometimes uh, a coin battery that backs up processor memory, or uh, uh, yeah, backs up memory, can go dead. And in going dead, it will hold the. Uh, bus that it powers low and that will cause uh, a processor not to start up. I've seen that on certain gear in the past in computers, but uh, not the case here. So let's get the front panel back on and make sure it still works. No clue inside as to what it is. Nothing on the inside of the panels, nothing on the boards or in the sub chassis, you know. There's um, there isn't even Yezu on the boards either. Either of the boards, none of them say Yezu. <laughs> so it, uh, and there's no identifier on this board either. It doesn't say Yezu anywhere. I, I, that's bizarre. I've never seen that on a radio with no ID at all. So, anyway, get this back together. Well, got it back together and it still works. So I don't know. Um, I think I'll just uh, I'll put hook it up uh, maybe down here and use it for a while and see if it'll fail eventually. Maybe uh, then we can figure out uh, what's wrong with it. Oh yeah, I was gonna go to the web and try to figure out what this is. So stand by. Okay, I figured out what it is. It is a Yezu 2500 FT. The identifier used to be a little door that was over these buttons here that would, that would uh, flip up. And that door is missing, so that's where it said Yezu on it. <laughs> so that's what it is. 2500 FT, 2 meter mobile. It's only 2 meters. Well, I guess that'll bring to a close the first episode of What's in the Box. A look at this mystery uh, Yezu radio which by now I will have identified and put up a card showing you what it is. Um, so thanks again to KC1CCR mm, too much light <laughs> there we go KC1CCR my first ever donor of content equipment and we will take a look at that soft rock um, receiver transmitter in an upcoming video. And I'll put that Vectronics kit aside, that 40 meter receiver, and uh, we might do a kit build here in a, in a week or two. Uh, thanks uh, again, Rami, and uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>